Hey. Hello, hello, hello. We will get straight into the reading. Holy Father, Holy Spirit, what is the message? What is the energy? What do the collective needs to know? What do they need clarity on? Mm. Starting off, someone is in a lot of regret. Over a loss here. Someone is grieving. Mourning. Over a loss. An ending of a cycle. Someone from your past is heartbroken. Over a loss. An ending. Someone could be... um. <clears throat> Like worried. Someone here could lost a family or lost their family. Okay. Give me something else in the spirit. Mm, four swords. Someone could be praying. Feeling lost. Contemplating. Doing a lot of thinking about things. Hmm. Ten of Pentacles to the star. Competition, King of Pentacles, collaborations. Give me something else on this spirit. There could be someone that's very heartbroken. Someone could have lost their family. Give me something else on this part. Some type of truth or clarity. Someone is doing a lot of thinking about some type of truth and clarity. Someone is trying to gain some type of perspective over a loss here. Nine of Wands. Hmm. Give me more on this spirit. It's like someone is coming to some type of realization about some type of truth. Over a ending. Page of Cups. Someone might want to come in to give you an apology. Eight of Cups, Ace of Wands, Four of Wands. Someone could be walking away from a, a partnership or a commitment here or a merge. Someone could be turning their back when they merge. Hmm. Give me more on this bird. Someone is in a lot of regret. And some type of truth could have came out about a family dynamic or a loss of a family dynamic. And they want to come in to give uh, you some type of apology collective.
you could have spoke some type of truth. <clears throat> yeah, three of swords. Heartbreak. Pain. Miss Opportunity. Oh, we. There could have been something that was hidden, secrets, hidden information. It's like someone want to bring in an offer. Gemini, Cancer could be very significant. It's like someone want to come forward, but someone is hurting. Very, very sad energy here. There could be a missed opportunity of a partnership or a family dynamic here. Give me more on this spirit. Now, so it's like someone feel very sad about this law, so they want to um, bring you in. They want to come to you to give you an apology. Mm -hmm. Nine of Swords. Oh, we this energy. Ooh. It's very burden. Very burden energy here. Worries. Fear. Trap, sleepless nights. This person could even be depressed, having mental breakdowns over this loss to a cups to the death card. Scorpio could be very significant. Someone is stressing over a partnership, some type of betrayal, the ten of swords. Queen of Swords to the Queen of Cups to the King of Cups to the High Font. This is a spiritual, divinely partnership right here. Queen and King of Cups. This is a very compassionate, loving partnership right here to the High Font. For some of you guys, this could be your partner. This could be someone that you are... Uh, or was committed to someone that you are married to, but this was this is like a very spiritual connection. But it's like you 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 for a lot of you guys, you're protecting yourself. You could have blocked someone from your past. You stand on your ground, you saying enough is enough, you're protecting your boundaries. Yeah, there was a major ending. Ten of Swords to the Death Card. A partnership. Mm. Yeah. The Eight of Cups to the Ace of Wands to the Four of Wands. Somebody walked away from a connection or a merge here. Something that was very divine and spiritual. Hmm. Give me something else in this spirit. Four of Pentacles. Someone here could have been holding back from the truth. They could have been holding back giving you the truth. Holding back their feelings, their emotions. 
They want to come in towards you to have some type of communication with the Knight of Swords energy, to the Six of Swords, to the Ace of Cups, to the Seven of Wands, I mean, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Yo, someone is coming in towards you. They want to come in to invest with you. They could be traveling if they are at a distance. Okay, someone could be in a totally different city or state or country. Okay, um, but someone is rushing in to give you some type of communication and offer you this Ace of Cups. Like they want to now invest in a connection with you. They had a lot of time to overthink some things. Okay, cry, cry it out. Overanalyzing some things. They know they owe you this apology. They know they owe you the truth. And that's what they are stressing about. It's almost like they don't know how you are going to react with this truth they want to bring towards you. Give me something else on this spirit. the two of cups in reverse <sighs> a partnership definitely went sour this could have been a false connection because whoever this energy is that's very heartbroken and a loss and a lot of regret there was a major betrayal. I say the Ten of Swords. They did something to flip this whole connection upside down. They did something to sabotage this connection. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune to Judgment to the Emperor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they know they messed up, okay? To the hangman, to the high priestess. They gaining some type of perspective on things. They gaining some type of insight on things. This emperor is um like getting in tune with their higher self. They are becoming more spiritual. This emperor could have spiritual gifts and talents. Okay. But it was a lot of things that was being hitting within this dynamic. Aries could be very significant. Pisces, Cancer could be very significant. Virgo could be very significant. But whatever they are trying to overcome for themselves, it's like they got to clear some things out of their lives in order for them to have this will of fortune with you. A new beginning, a new cycle changes with the judgment. Give me something else on this spirit. I'm telling you, this energy wants to come in to give you some type of truth. Speak some type of truth. The hangman, yep. Gaining some type of perspective. Someone could um, actually really sacrifice this connection because of their... Wicked ways, their deceptions. The Queen of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, to the Empress, to the Nine of Pentacles. For a lot of you guys, you could have been 
going through some type of uh, financial difficulties in your life, okay? Uh, you could have been going through some type of hardships in your life when it came to your finances, okay? But everything is fine because you went from a five of pentacles to the nine of pentacles, okay? You could be someone that have a lot of responsibilities. You pay bills, you take care of your kids, you take care of your home, you take care of yourself, you work a lot, you own your own business, very stable, very responsible when it comes to your finances and your security. But you could have took a, a, a slight dip when it came to your finances because of whatever happened in a partnership. Maybe you and your partner shared finances. And when you decide to walk away from this individual, it, there could have been some type of struggle. You had to carry everything on your own. Carry everything on your back, on your shoulder. Okay? But now you're going to, from that to the Empress to the Nine of Pentacles. Very abundant. Very successful. Birthing new ideas, being very creative, working on yourself, getting your finances in order, taking care of your um, priorities, your family, your home after this breakup or separation here. But someone here is, is, is like they did a lot of crying, stressing, feeling trapped, a lot of confusion. And it's like they know exactly what they have done to you. They sacrificed this partnership. They sabotaged this partnership. Okay? And now they want to come in to give some type of apology. They had a lot of time to think. Give me something else on this spirit. got the Queen of Swords energy here. For some of you guys, if this your energy, air sign could be very significant. You could have blocked this energy. You're protecting your boundaries. You're standing up for yourself. You're putting your foot down. You could even hear words with this um, person, this past person. Yeah, this Knight of Wands energy. Someone that could have been a player, unfaithful. Okay, someone that could have ghosted you in the past, someone that's in and out, someone that's non-consistent. Yeah, because they was busy giving to these three of cups, friends, family, community, group. Okay. But look at this, the tempers to the seven of uh, wands, to the magician, to the high priestess. B, B. This is like power. Enough about power, peace, harmony. Speaks about your spirituality, hidden knowledge, wisdom. Protecting yourself, standing up for yourself, manifesting good love, abundance, prosperity into your life here. Okay, that's that's what a lot of you guys are doing. Y'all are out here manifesting peace and harmony. Okay. You just want to be prosperous. You just want to be at peace with some things. Okay? Give me something else on this, spirit. You could have really said something to this energy that got them all up in their head. It's something that you could have said that they, that they would never forget. That they constantly think about. You either come in correct or don't come in at all. Because, see, a lot of you guys are already in the healing stages on your healing journey. 
Yeah, Six of Swords moving away into calmer waters. Mm -hmm. you, you're moving away to ground yourself, to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, balance some things out in your life. For a lot of you guys, if you was worried about your finances, a lot of things about to be very balanced in your life when it comes to your finances and your security here, okay? With the help of the divine, it's going to be very balanced. You're going to be very successful. You're going to get right back on your feet, okay? Anything else on this for And this energy could even held back finances from you. This energy could have been, um, like I said, given to other people, places, and things and wasn't giving you anything. It's almost like once they left, they left you with all the responsibilities of paying the bills, taking care of the kids, taking care of the home. Like, yeah, and it's four of pentacles energy. But you went from that five of pentacles to the nine of pentacles. One more spirit. Your page of pentacles. Mm-hmm. It's like someone want to bring in some type of offer or give you some type of gift here. Yeah, this knight of wands, this player energy. Someone that's for the streets. Someone that's all about their community. This could be someone that's popular in their community. Someone that's well-known. This could be a younger energy. They don't have to be. You could be younger than them. But they could just simply be very immature, childish energy here. But once again, <laughs> spirit. Let me tell you somehow spirit work in the divine work. They are cutting you off and staying and getting in the getting in between you. And this play energy because they still not trying to come in correctly is what I'm getting. They still come out as this knight and page energy. So with the temperance to the seven of wands, you are being very, very protected from this player. Okay, you are. Hmm. Anything else on this message, Spirit? Mm. You have water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces could be very significant, or you could be a water sign. Patient. In just a few more months, good things come to those who wait for. Okay. Anything else for intimacies? 